Before I start this video, I want to offer a content warning, trigger warning of what you're getting ready to hear. Yesterday was a, a rough day in our household. Received two separate voicemails threatening my life and my family's lives to murder us, but also to uh, commit sexual violence against my wife. I'm gonna play these voicemails for you. I'm gonna blur. I'm gonna offer respect to this individual that he did not offer my family and I. But I'm gonna play these. But first, it's despicable, it's horrendous, it is violent language. So if that's, if that's not for you, if you are a past victim of this type of violence um, and you're not, you're not in it, then this isn't the video for you. Moving forward, though, what I would like to, to, to gain from this video is uh, an eye on this, and an eye especially from authorities. I, I recently met with a content creator who's in my space, and uh, we, we discussed that they go through a lot of the same struggles related to threats that Brittany and I do. And it shouldn't, this shouldn't be the case that this is so widespread, so common that if you talk about politics and you disagree with the right wing, that you should be subject to your life being in danger. Now, look, I got a lot of threats, a lot of wild and wacky voicemails. Some of that comes along with the job. But when someone does not conceal their phone number, when someone uh, acts in this unhinged manner, seemingly with a child in the room, you'll hear the voicemails here in a minute, uh, it is extra scary. They take so little care for the children in their charge that they're going to say horrific things in front of them while recording a voicemail to others who, whom they don't know to threaten their lives and their safety because we disagree about who should be the next president, ostensibly. It is scary. We do have to take extraordinary links to keep ourselves safe. And the reason I want uh, you first share this video uh, and tag these particular outlets, because we've, we've talked about uh, moments like this in the past with the authorities, and nothing satisfactory really ever happens. And I hope this will be a difference because you shouldn't be able to threaten rape of someone, murder of someone for a difference of political beliefs. So tag the FBI Washington field office. Here's their Twitter account. Tag the United States attorney for the Washington District of Columbia uh, area, and also the D.C. Police Department. Uh, other than, uh, I mean, we, we had D.C. Police in our house here yesterday for hours. Uh, I did not contact the U.S. Attorney's Office. I expect that either D.C. will do that or the FBI, but we did also contact the FBI. Here's the first of two. This one was left at 11.19 uh, a.m. yesterday via our podcast voicemail line. You fucking piece of shit. You're fucking dead. You and your family, motherfucker. You're fucking dead. Unacceptable. I can take the verbal abuse, the, the, the you're a, a fucking piece of shit, but it goes too far when you're fucking dead. You and your fa family, motherfucker, you're fucking dead. Invectives are fine. Name calling, absolutely A-OK. -okay. In fact, can be a good time. Threats to my safety and my family's safety? Uh -uh. It got worse, called back. Four minutes later, this call left at 11.23. Your wife is an ugly fucking cunt. We're gonna rape that fucking ugly bitch and kill her, you cocksucker. Again, Invectives, uh, denigrating my wife, her looks, whatever. 
Um, that's fine. But we're, I don't know who the we're is, multiple people indicating, we're going to rape that fucking ugly bitch and kill her, you cocksucker. Donald Trump has created uh, a world where this is normal, normalized, and acceptable in certain circles. And it has permeated American society. The uh, Public Rel Religion Research Institute re recently did a poll, and they found that the share, who, the share of Americans who say they agree with this statement has grown. This is the statement. American patriots may have to resort to violence in order to save the country. So Donald Trump with his retribution talk, with his bloodbath talk, with his poisoning the blood of our nation talk, promotes this type of abuse, of threat, to gin up fear for the ultimate uh, what they hope to be the case is to silence me and to silence my wife, who has her own YouTube channel, who 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 is my co podcast co-host for over 10 years. In fact, the best way to make sure this doesn't work would be for you to go over and subscribe to her channel. That would be the worst thing for this guy. It's the thing he does not want. He wants our, us to shut our mouths about the truth about the facts, about the headlines, about the, the, the reality on the ground in the United States of America. The, 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 the ultimate outcome that to, to, to come from this would be for uh, Brittany to increase her reach. Look at those numbers again. 33% of Republicans believe that they may have to resort to political violence in order to save the country. And saving the country means installing Donald Trump as president of the United States, whether that be extra constitutionally or extra democratically. We currently have state Republican parties talking about how they want to do away with democracy, quote unquote. And they'll try to attain it any way that they can, up to and including killing me, killing my wife after having apparently raped her. What do you think? This is not the way that it should be. 714-576-4054. You can also email me daily at dollamore.com. As always, I welcome your input. As always, I talk about leaving comments below that we can disagree agreeably. Not for some, though. If you appreciate my work, if I do something for you that brings you value on a day-to-day -day basis, please consider supporting this work here in independent media. Click the join button below for $2 a month. You can help me produce these videos and reach the millions of people that I do every single month. You can also go over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Again, $2 a month is all it takes to support this work. Follow me on social media. Tag me in this video on social media. And again, tag the FBI. Tag the U.S. Attorney's Office here in Washington, D.C. Tag the D.C. Police Department. I would very much appreciate your help. Uh, hopefully, uh, a signal boost of that sort. Uh, will get the job done. This person should be held accountable and they should face consequences for this clearly illegal act. Uh, I love and appreciate you very much. Thanks for taking some time with me today. I'll see you next time. Until then, be genuine, as I say every time, and take care of one another.